Hi guys, welcome back. Um, hopefully it sounds okay and there's books behind me again, which is nice. Um, I've been here for a couple of months. I still can't find the cord for my monitor. So once these videos start coming out, you'll know I have found the cord. Um, I have a whole wall of bookshelves and I'll be sure to show you those in the near future. But right now I have a TBR cart full of books that have come from Book Outlet and some couple from, for the, from thrift stores and a library book sale. And I wanted to show them to you. I don't have any boxes to unbox because one of my cats saw wrapping paper or the packing paper on the floor and decided to pee on it and got some on one of the book boxes. So I unpacked both book boxes and had to throw out one of them, one of the covers for one of the books. But we're almost totally unpacked, so that should not happen again. If you hear noise in the background, my daughter's doing um, homework on the couch and the cats are running around crazy and you are precariously on my husband's tripod, because I don't know where mine is, and a book box that I have to unbox later <laughs> from Alcrate. It was February's, which is going to be late now, so we'll just figure it all out. So I'm just going to start right here and dive on in and then once I'm done I can put them all away if I can find room for them because I've got a lot of books. So um, don't mind me if I keep looking at myself instead of you guys. It's only because the lighting is weird and I'm still trying to get used to it. Uh, we do have the box lights here. I just don't have anything set up. I'm actually in my dining room. The dining room and kitchen are kind of like L-shaped together and I don't like have any place to film other than this and it's been gloomy all week so I'm just making do. Hope it's okay. All right so the first book I have on my pile is No Exit and I heard this is pretty good. It's a thriller about these people that get stuck at a rest stop and there is a kid in a cage and they got to figure out who caged this kid up. I thought it sounded interesting so I went ahead and grabbed it. This is called The Avow of Thieves. It is the second book in the spin-off from the Kiss of Deception series. I am not ready for this, but it was on Book Outlet. It was cheap, and now I have the whole series that I can binge when this horrible slump is over. The next book I have is The Stone in the Skull. Um, I don't know what this is about. I just thought the cover was really cool and the synopsis sounded interesting and that was a while ago and I don't remember what it's about anymore. But book two is also on Book Outlet. I have not bought that one yet, but it's sitting there waiting for me because I have books to read. The next one I have is Romancing the Throne. I always look for fun romance books to take up my time and this one sounded like a cute one so I went ahead and got it. The next book I have is The Cold in Her is in Her Bones, and I don't remember what this one's about. It says to protect your home from demons, if you see a snake, kill it, then burn it. Pour salt where the air comes in, cells, um, thresholds, hearths, stay inside after dark, lock tight doors and windows and pray. I don't know anything else about it, but the little blurb on the back alone is why I bought it. Next one I have is The Merciful Crow. This came out this last year and it got some pretty good buzz and it was cheap. Let's be real here. Let's be real here. Most of the books that I buy is because of that reason. All right, um, let's keep going over here. Is The Sky Without Stars. Again, this one came out like a year ago and it had some good reviews. I don't remember what it's about. I also got the Ghost of the Shadow Hunter Market. I'm um, kind of veering away from Cassandra Clare just a little bit because all of her books are the same and they're all based in the same world, but yet I still keep reading them. So we'll see if I actually veer away from her or not. But I got this one because it's part of the whole series and yeah, I'm weird. All right, I got Shauna McGuire's Middle Grade. I like Shauna McGuire and um, I've heard great things about this. Kayla from Books and Lala loved it. I also got The Brilliant Death. This one is signed. I don't remember what it's about, but 
again, it's on this list of books that I want to read because everything sounded really good at the time and then I started buying them and I don't remember everything I wrote. This one is the second to a book I haven't started yet. This is The Queen's Resistance. It's the sequel to The Queen's Rising. There's always a theme here when it comes to the book outlet stuff. The next one I have is The Kingdom. Came a little dinged up. Um, everyone's been raving about this. I know it's sci-fi-ish. It says, you are beautiful, you are kind, you never raise your voice. We always aim to please. We never say no unless we want to. Our happiness, your happiness is our happiness. Your wish is our command. I think it's about cyborgs, but I'm not sure. So, yeah. Next we have Under the Painted Sky. This is like a historical fiction and it's based around a Chinese girl. I'm not positive what happens, but I'm thinking that has some, I don't know. I remember looking at the synopsis and I think I actually have the other one too. I do. I got both of them. So I got Outrun the Moon and Under the Painted Sky. They're both written by the same person. I want to say one of them has to do with like one of the wars. Now this one takes place in San Francisco in 1906. And this one is... Chinese girl in Missouri in 1849. So I, I think there's some, some sort of like prejudice stuff going on here. It's supposed to be historical fiction. I heard it was really good. We'll have to wait and see. All right, next I have Fire and Heist. Everybody was reading this. I was curious. All right, and I have a couple books here. I have more from the out book outlet order, and once I get to that, I will show you, but I had to take some off the book cart because it was too high, if that makes any sense whatsoever. The picture I took before starting this should explain it. Um, I got this at a used bookstore. It's called Lost. It is part of um, PC Cast and Cassandra, uh, Kristen Cast's House of Night series. It's the second book in the spinoff. I have the first book on my Kindle, but I suck at reading my Kindle. So unless I'm traveling or getting a library book, I usually don't tend to read it. But I saw this, it was cheap. I got it at a used bookstore. I also got this at the same used bookstore. This is Apollo. And this is the fourth one. I had the first three and I think there's five out now. Um, I've only read the first one of the series and the first two of the Magnus Chase series, but I read all of the Percy Jackson and all the Lost Heroes, so I will get to this eventually. This book I actually bought at Barnes & Noble. This is Pan's Labyrinth. I have read this one. Woohoo! And I guess it was made this, um, oh, I don't know how to say his name. I don't know. <laughs> That's his name. I don't know how to pronounce it. He is Spanish and he made this a movie out of this. And um, it got such a good, a good acclaim, he decided to write a book about it. And the book has pictures in it. They're very pretty. Um, it's about this little girl who finds out that she is, all the pages have like this border on it. But she finds out that she is a princess for the underworld and in order to get back she has to um do three tests that a fawn tells her to do and so she is going through and trying to complete these quests so that she can go home essentially uh, it was a really interesting book. I think I gave it three and a half, four stars. I liked it. It wasn't the best book I've ever read, but I do really want to read, uh, watch the movie now. I think Netflix has it and it's um, subtitled. So I think having a basic information will help a little bit with that. But I liked it a lot. So the rest of the books. Okay, so I'm just going to pick off the cart and show you books as I go. I do need to find the cover for this one. So I'll show you that one in a minute. So the next one I got, this is from the library book sale. It's Mind Game. It was one of the book of the month books. I got it for 50 cents or a dollar. I can't remember which. I wanna say it was 50 cents for the paperbacks and a dollar for the hardcovers. I was really excited because the next one was supposed to be yesterday. I don't know what this is about. I just thought it looked interesting. And it was a library book sale. It was a dollar. There's gonna be a theme here. I don't know what I'm getting. 
I got a Julia Picoult book. This one is The Storyteller. And I don't remember what this one is about, but I do like her stories a lot. She's got some really good twists to them. I've read a few of them now, but they're kind of heartbreaking, so I don't read them very often. But I always like to have some interesting, heartbreaking stuff on hand just so I can cry my eyes out when I feel like it. The next one, pulling little pieces of stuff off of them, is Spades and Furies. I don't remember what this one's about either, but I do remember I've been eyeballing it for a long time. It's an adult book. It says an, an exhilarating portrait of an extraordinary couple over the course of 24 years. Fates and Furies is a landmark novel about marriage, creativity, power, and perception. I thought it sounded good at the time. Yeah. Okay. I got Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. We were supposed to read this for a book group thing in Guam. And we went out of town and I never actually got to read it. But I remember thinking that it was sounded really pretty good. It's got mixed reviews, but I bought it for a dollar. So if I don't like it, I wasted a dollar. Um, but I know it's, it's like a story about this person, which I guess all books are stories about somebody. All right, the next one I got is Aesop's Fables. Um, it is definitely an old one, but it's got really pretty pictures in it. And I have a whole section of my bookshelf that's, I like to have like, um, classic stories like I've got uh, Hans Christian Andersen, I've got Grimm. I think I do have an Aesop's too, but I thought this book was really cool looking and so I go ahead and, ahead and grabbed it. Uh, <laughs> the Forest of Hands and Teeth. This is a library copy. I, the plastic is still on it. I need to take the plastic off of it. I think that these ones were like 25 cents if they were library copies. So The Forest of Hands and Teeth is a zombie book and it's about this um, race of zombies that are really slow and lethargic except when there's a high concentration of them a couple of them will turn into like super zombies and this is about a girl stuck in this little tiny village that's surrounded by gates to try to keep the zombies out. I read this years ago and I remember really loving it and I never had a copy because I got it from the library and there's a whole section of them and there's like four of them total and I read the whole series and I loved it. So I went ahead and bought this because I don't own it and I love the book. So the next one I got <laughs> is The Last Life of Prince Alistair. Um, I do not have the first book, which is the Prosper Reading book. Um, I know that it's a middle grade and it's kind of spooky. It was a good Halloween type book. I've never read the first one. And again, the only reason I bought it was because it was a dollar and it's in great shape and it was there. So I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and buy that. This one I think I got from Book Outlet. Yes, there's a dot on it. And this one is the uh, Lantern's Ember. I bought it because of the cover. Can we look at the cover? The cover's really cool. That's why I bought it. Let's see, um, this one is Round the Earth, there's no dot, which means this one probably came from the book sale again, because I know I didn't buy it on normal price. I actually had an arc, a digital arc of this when it first came out, but the digital arcs that I got from NetGalley don't work very well on my Kindle, and they're usually all screwed up, and this was one of the ones that was screwed up, so I was never able to read it. A friend of mine read it, and she said that she thought things that I would like it, it wasn't really her type of book, but she did say it was mine, so again, a dollar. I also got The Everlasting Rose. I already have The Bells. I've already read both of these books. The Everlasting Rose wasn't nearly as good as The Bells was, but I wanted to finish my group. So if you don't know, this is The Bells is about this race of beautiful girls that um, make everybody else beautiful too. They, everyone else is born gray and they are able to give them color. That's the gist of it. I also got one of the books from, oh shoot, what is this? The Inheritance series, right? This is book three. I have book one and I've never read it. I started it way back in the day when my kids were super, super little, but I hadn't read any high fantasy yet at that point and got lost in the first chapter. So I've always meant to go back and reread it and so I went ahead and I bought this because it is book three. It's in fairly good condition. It's got a little bit of a 
bent page on the back. But other than that, it's in fairly good condition. And if I actually get to round reading it, I have another book of the series. So I have less to get later. Um, I also got a Colleen Hoover book. I love Colleen Hoover. I have, I've only read a couple of her books, but I've just kind of been collecting them and reading them as I go. Again, hers have a tendency to be either really smutty or really hard hitting. I've only read the hard hitting ones, so, but I hear they're smutty ones too. I've just never read them. I have another Jodi Picoult book. This one is called Sing You Home. Again, I'm not sure which ones, which ones these ones are um, because I have not read them yet. I read 19 Minutes, My Sister's Keeper. Okay, so this is The Lilac Girls. I've been wanting to read this for a long time. This is another historical fiction. I wanna say that it takes place during World War II. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure. And um, I've heard really great things about it. There is another book to this series. I don't know if it's like a direct book or if it's just like a, um, a partner book or whatever you call it. But yeah, her is really good. So I wanted to buy that one. And then here is, this is Midnight Dance. This is another book that I um, had an e of that didn't work. It's supposed to be about ballerinas. It got really bad reviews. I spent 50 cents on it. That way I can judge for myself. All right. I also got another version of Alice that I didn't already have because... It's Alice and I didn't already have it. Another book that I have on my Kindle that I always meant to read and never did. It's Water for Elephants. I know it's a circus book. It's supposed to be really good. I've never seen the movie. I'm not spoiled at all for it, but I really want to read it. Uh, this one, I think, I don't remember why I bought this one. It's like the third one in the series and I remember maybe it just got picked up because I remember picking it to see which book it was in the series and it not being number one and I thought I put it down but it must have gotten grabbed because my husband just grabbed all the books that I did so he must have just put it in the pile if I ever get around to the first one I'll read this one too um I also got an arc that's still all wrapped up of the Revere Reverie something like that it's been getting decent reviews like I said, it's still, it's an arc and it's still all wrapped up. So, I mean, it's still pretty new too. I'm not even sure much about it. Okay, I also got another smutty book called Easy. Um, I don't know how smutty this is or if this is more like a hard hitting. I don't know. I just heard of Tamara Weber, Weber or whatever her name is, Tamara Weber. And I've heard of this book specifically. And so I figured I would try it out because again, 50 cents. All right, next group, next shelf. And I think we're back to some of the books that I got from book outlets. If I can get them out. All right, the first one I got is Song of the Dead. It's a necromancy book. This is the second in the series. I haven't read the first. I've been slumpy recently since August. I've been pretty slumpy, so I have not got a lot of reading done. It's one I really want to read, but I haven't yet. All right, this one is going to turn my heart out, and I know it. This one's three, two, one, four, three, two, one, and it's about a the survivors of a bus bombing, and they're going to come together after a year and like try to deal with their survivor's guilt. It's going to make me cry, so I probably won't read that one for a while, but. All right, um, this is the one that had cat pee on it. And it is The Assassin's Guide to Love and Treason. Uh, if I can find the cover for it, I'll put it up for you guys so you can see what it actually is supposed to look like, because that's not it. But it's the only book that had any damage, and it was just the cover. The book itself is totally fine. I don't know which cat did it. Neither of my, of my grown cats have ever done it before, so we're thinking it has to be the young one, and she's probably just, it's probably difficult for her. To move and she saw paper and thought hey this is like this looks like fun we'll mark this anyways um the next book i got was 99 percent mine i've heard mixed things about it got it from book outlet for like a couple bucks the next book i got from book outlet is the perfect date i was looking for cute romances the cute romance 
And then the next one I got was Accidental Beauty Queen. This one I thought sounded funny. It's about twins. One is a beauty queen and the other one does not give a hoot about anything beauty queen related. And the sister who's a beauty queen gets sick or has a allergic reaction or something and her sister has to take over. I thought that it sounded cute and funny. So I went ahead and grabbed it. Pull another chunk out. All right, um, the next book I got was The Girl Who Drank the Moon. It's the middle grade book and it's about this witch who gets um, one kid a year or something and she's supposed to feed them starlight and then she accidentally feeds this one moonlight or something along those lines. It got a Newbery Award. I've heard nothing but amazing things about it and I've been kicking myself for about a year that I didn't buy it last time it was on Book Outlet. So this time when it popped up on paperback, I went ahead and bought it. This one I saw at Barnes & Noble. It's The Witches of St. Petersburg. I don't remember exactly what it's about. It says it's based on a true story. It's a historical fiction debut depicting the fascinating lives of two sisters that are both princesses in the Romanov court who practice black magic, befriend the Tsar, and invite Rasputin into their lives, changing forever the course of Russia's history. Um, I thought it sounded really interesting. And I looked on Book Outlet just to see if it was there. And instead of spending $17 on it, I spent like three. So that was awesome. The next book I have is Carry On My Rainbow Brow. Um, this one I also got at that book fair thing, the library book sale. Um, I have the original one. This is based off of brain not working but I've never read any Rainbow Row really so I don't know why I keep buying stuff that I haven't read anything of but I have problems. All right and I don't remember which one's which. So we have Dead Sexy and we have Romancing the Dead. These are vampire books. This is books two and three. I'm reading one. I checked it out from the library right now. It's cute. It's not the best book but I was really enjoying the beginning of it so I went ahead Jenny is scratching. Um, I had started the first one. I liked it, so I went ahead and I bought these two. I'm about 40% through, and it's not helping with my slump right now. So I'm not sure if this is the wrong time for me to be reading it or if it's just not that great. I'll let you know. If it ends up in a haul, uh, unhaul, you'll know why. Okay, the next book I bought, my husband bought for me, was The Bromance Book Club. He saw that I wanted it and was being very sweet and went and bought it for me. Um, the next book I have, Jenny, stop, woman, stop, thank you. The next book I have is The Starless Sea. Um, I've been hearing great things about it and I was the same price for me to buy it from the UK and get the pretty cover as it was for me to buy it in the US and get the not pretty cover. The only problem is, is that this one doesn't have the hardcover that's pretty. It only has the dust jacket that's pretty, which is a little bit of a bummer. But the inside pages are pretty cool. All I know is it's a book about a book. And books about books are fun. So I got it. This is old and somehow got stuck in the wrong cart. So instead of getting shelved, it got put in there. All right, um, these came from Goodwill. I haven't even taken the stickers off of them yet. It have, we have The Witch and the Dead, we have Fire Engine Dead, and we have Spells and Scones because sometimes you just want a stupid book to read and they were cheap because they came from Goodwill. I think I have a couple more from Goodwill. I have Serafina, which I've been curious about forever. I don't know if it's any good, but it came from Goodwill. So, And then I have something blue. I know I have part of the series already. I also got something borrowed, but I always know I know there's something on my shelf already. I just don't know what it is, so I'll have to go find out. And if it's one of these, then I'll just put it back towards the unhauls. All right, we're coming down to the end. The next one we have, obviously, it was fifty cents because there's still a sticker on it. This must have come from the library book sale, and this is another arc. And this one is, oh shoot. Cruline, the Cruline, I have no idea how to say that. I don't remember what it's about. I'm wonderful at this, can't you tell? 
Uh, I also got one of the Hunger Games books because it was a pretty cover and Tyler's been wanting this cover, so I bought it for him. I also bought the Queen of Nothing and I bought the Alcrate version. And I didn't buy the box because the box sold out, so I ended up spending the same amount on the damn book that I would have spent on the whole box. It's lovely. And I'm a little annoyed. And I don't even really like the series that much, so I could have just wasted my money on that. We will still see. Uh, the next two came from the library also. This one is My Loving Grove Summer. I thought it sounded really cute. It was um, a romance, so I got it. And then I also got the Scorpion Races that I also got from the same library book sale. All right, down to the last two books. The first one my husband bought for me. He bought me Crescent City by Sarah J Mass, which I am extremely excited about. And I haven't even like explored the book too much, so I don't really know much about it. But it's Sarah J Mass, and I love her. And all I, told, all I told my husband was, is that Sarah J Mass had a new book coming out and I wanted to get it. And he pre-ordered it for me like months ago. So I have that now. And then I also have Come Tumbling Down by Shelley McGuire, which I'm probably going to just have to read this one pretty soon. I even put a bookmark in it because I intended to reading it right away. And I haven't yet, but maybe this will be easier to read than some of the other books that I've been trying to read and it's not working because I am in a fault. So that's it. I have a huge pile of books next to me that I need to figure out where to put on my bookshelves. And as you can probably see, they're full. And I've got a lot of them. Anyways, I will see you guys in another video soon. Hopefully you guys get to see this sooner than later. I'll talk to you later. Bye.